So you're about to sign up for high level or you just did sign up for high level and you're wondering which way is up. I want to say look no further than this video, but we both know that high level is a behemoth and it's going to take you months to learn the software and years to master the business model. Or at least I hope your affiliate didn't tell you that you were going to get rich overnight. And if they did, then let's set the record straight in this video. If you don't know me, my name is Keaton Walker. I built and sold a seven figure agency all on high level. And now I get to talk to the top minds in this space almost every single day about how they pack package things, sell things, onboard, etc. You can check out my podcast if you want to watch more episodes. But in this video, I'm going to distill eight of the lessons that I've learned over the last five and a half years about how to sell and retain with your high-level agency, whether you're selling the software itself or bundling with the service or something else. So let's get into it. Number one, it's not going to be intuitive. Whenever I see someone in the high-level group say, this thing isn't intuitive, I don't understand why it works this way. I don't get why the calendars or the opportunity section or the contact section is set up this way. Why can't it just work like I want it to work? Now, of course, we would love for everything to be intuitive. And it's amazing when we have a software that we can sign up to make three clicks and everything is set up correctly. High level is not that software. Let's be clear. Are there a lot of features that on their own could be set up within a few clicks? Yes. But to understand the whole thing and actually get it set up, it's not going to be a few clicks. It's not just going to be 30 minutes. And if you're a business that just needs one sub account and doesn't want to deal with the 200 plus other features that you don't need, that's totally fine. And go sign up for high level underneath somebody else's white label. I'm going to start selling sub accounts soon. And as part of signing up with my white label, we will have hands-on onboarding help to get you up and running so that you can run your business. Again, this is really only applicable to you if you only need one or two sub accounts and you don't want to deal directly with high level support. You'd rather have another support team in between you. But I digress. What I mean to say when it's not going to be intuitive is that it's like learning another language. When somebody goes to learn Spanish or French, for example, and they look at grammar or they look at the way things are formed or slang, things that they really need to understand to become proficient in that language, it wouldn't make any sense to look at the language and say, well, I really wish it wasn't that way. It's not intuitive. That's exactly what it's like when you're dealing with a software of high levels caliber. If instead you adjust your mind and say, okay, this is how the language works that I'm trying to speak. How can I fit myself into that? You will see that similar to what Steve Jobs said about the computer being a bicycle for the mind, allowing you to move faster and so much more efficiently, high level is the same thing. It allows you to automate so many things. It allows you to think in a different way and process things in a different way that are actually more efficient for your business that you wouldn't have thought of on your own. So take a second to humble yourself and not think, wow, this isn't intuitive, but instead, well, there's a reason they must have set it up this way. And full disclosure, if there's something that doesn't make sense, if you report it to high level, they are unlike most other software companies in that they will actually listen to you and implement the feedback. And if there's a full on bug or if there's something that you just feel like doesn't doesn't make sense in a certain feature and more functionality that you might need. There are tons of stories of people reporting this, voting certain features up on the roadmap and giving the developers feedback on what they actually need and that functionality getting built out. But for the most part, all of that is already done for you. And the features that are getting delivered to you, it's better for you to adopt the mindset of I'm going to adapt myself to this instead of this should adapt to me. And that brings me to number two, which is very, very much related. And that is just learn the damn software. Get in there and get your hands dirty. Every successful affiliate, SaaSpreneur, agency owner I know eventually has gone in and learned the software themselves. I was talking to someone last year who had a seven plus figure business and was running everything manually and wanted to move on to high level. And he told me he was getting quotes for, you know, 15, 20 grand for build outs of what he wanted to do inside of high level. And he was a little bit skeptical and came to me and said, I'm wondering if I should do this myself. And I said, depends on your personality. But after talking to you just for five minutes, I know there's going to be a day where you want to go in and implement something that didn't get implemented correctly from the person that you had do the implementation, or you'll just want to tweak something. It'll be midnight and you needed to change immediately. And you're going to have your hands tied because you hired somebody else to do it. Now I'm a huge fan of outsourcing. I'm just not a fan of completely outsourcing things that you don't understand because that makes you powerless to the tech people. And if instead you actually learn the software, decide what you want to be built out, you'll actually see a lot of other ideas percolating. You will build out something even better for you yourself and your clients because you took the time to see what features were actually available instead of just having somebody else build it out for you because you felt overwhelmed. I promise it's not that hard. Just watch my most recent one hour video tutorial on how to use high level and build out a version one workflow that automates 
something simple in your business and then let that sit for a week and then come back to it and try to add a little bit more and then come back a week later and add a little bit more and just keep doing that until you've built something that you really love. Along these same lines, my friend Jake Shore and former consulting client of mine said that he spent three months of 12 hour days learning high level, setting up the system, believing that he could do this. And then in his launch month, he did $27,000 in revenue because he had put in so much upfront work to actually learn the software. I promise you it's worth the investment, especially if you're going to build your entire business on high level. Next up, sales is not as simple as most people make it out to be. And this one comes from my friend Pete, who runs Indigon.io, which works with car detailers and other businesses of that nature. And what he said is after a year of trying to use the software, he realized that there was this overhyped mentality inside of the community where people just say, the minute you show someone the software, business owners are just going to soil themselves and throw their credit card at you and salivate over the CRM that you're showing them when really that's not the case. In reality, I think there's a lot more on the sales side of things that people don't realize. And the first lick of rejection that people get, they're often turned off by. And what he recommends instead is taking more of a market research approach where you go to the people and you say, hey, what's happening? Like, let's say you get a call and you don't pick up. Do you have a sales process in place for that? Or let's say somebody reaches out, it's a new lead. What's the process of following up with that lead? And just listen to where the holes are in their current process. And then you can suggest one or two or three small features that will make an outsized difference on their business. And then once they're ready, and this is the key thing, once they're ready for more, they will ask you. Okay. Okay. If you prove yourself in the small things, they will come asking for more services, more features of the software, whatever it may be. And you can decide whether to give that to them or refer them to somebody else. But you really don't know what to pitch if you're pitching one-to-one -one until you listen to the owners of the company. And this goes along also with something that my friend Ryan O'Connor said recently in a podcast that I did with him. He, he gets insights into over 12,000 high-level sub accounts through his white label support agency, Growthable. And what I really like about his approach when he sells high levels, he'll go to these big SaaS companies and he'll say, look, you got HubSpot, you got whatever CRM you have on the background. And this goes, by the way, for dentists, chiropractors, et cetera, et cetera. They'll have a system already. I don't want to mess with that. That's for you to deal with all of the people who are already customers. What I'm going to do is bring in my CRM. It's going to have a pipeline with opportunities. It's going to have automation set up and it's going to have a power dialer so that your team can more efficiently follow up with everybody that comes through. And he had success selling just that system for, I believe it was $17,000 a month to these SaaS companies because of how much much value that small key set of features provided for that big SaaS company. Related to this topic of sales is onboarding and retention. Everybody again makes it sound too simple. Oh, you just send them the link, they sign up, they get into the software and they know exactly what to do. Amazing. Now going back to number one, is this going to be intuitive for a small business owner? No, it's not. And that's why you have to help them with onboarding. Now a few key things that will help with this, getting their domain connected, getting their phone numbers and all of their other social media connected and the leads actually flowing into the software will make them much less likely to cancel. But it's not just that tech stuff. It's actually getting them to adopt it in their everyday practice, because if they use it for 30 minutes, an hour a day, they're not going to cancel that on you. Now, a really big recommendation I would have here is to sign up with one of these three companies you see on the screen now, which are white label support companies that allow you to outsource those onboardings and outsource the support to a company that already knows exactly what they're doing, has done this thousands of times and can help you focus more on, okay, how do I retain these people long-term with maybe some sort of education or other service along with the software, but also how do I just get more people through the door so that I can feed them to the onboarding and support team. I have a full breakdown video of these three and what you should be considering if you hire any of them. One thing to note is that if you're looking for onboarding specifically, Extendly charges per onboarding. HL Pro Tools gives you unlimited onboardings, but you have to be on their highest plan, which is 3000 a month. And Growthable does offer onboardings on their lowest plan at $3.97 a month, I believe it is right now. But for that price, they wouldn't be immediate onboarding. So people will have to wait a few days for that to happen. Now, this whole discussion about onboarding and support leads me to how do we actually get started here? And that is number five, which is work closely with your first few clients as close as you possibly can. Meaning that if you can go local, go local. Now, what do I mean by work closely with them? Basically, this is another way for you to learn the software because you're going to start seeing it from a different angle. You're going to see a business owner kind of look at the opportunities dashboard, for example, or the calendars feature or whatever it is and say, that doesn't quite make sense. I'm not really sure 
why we need that. I don't want to automate that thing. I want that to be a manual process or something that just doesn't make actual sense. But to that business owner, that's the way that they want to operate. And I promise you, you're just going to run into a lot of people with a lot of different ideas about how this whole thing should work. But the closer you work with them and the more you get inside their heads, the easier your future sales are going to become and the better processes for onboarding and retention you're going to be able to build because you'll really be inside of the mindset of these business owners and you'll see why they say no to certain features and why they're super excited about others and that will inform your decisions on what to say in your marketing how to lead in with feature a versus feature b and of course when you can get better results for everyone or faster results or speak to what they want instead of what you think they want they're going to say yes faster and more often and along those lines if the business is local to you and you can go in and actually watch their team using the software see where they get tripped up see what things maybe aren't working the way you intended them to or what needs to be improved or changed and you can see the quality of the leads that they're generating and see what kind of nurturing they may need beyond what you currently have again it's going to pay dividends for years down the line now that leads me to my next point which i sort of already alluded to and that is to sell benefits not features another way you may have heard this said in the community is sell the whole not the drill not the biggest fan of that analogy because i think it's confusing and it doesn't quite work but basically what they're trying to say is look most people aren't going to salivate over the feature itself meaning hey we have a calendar which you can customize to your availability and then those people that book in the calendar they're going to show up on this other page and this is what this page looks like and you just keep going down this rabbit hole of describing the features instead if you just succinctly describe what's going to help them and couch it in terms of their time their money and their energy that they're going to save then they're more likely to actually buy it. so instead of what i just explained about the calendar we'll say yeah we have automatic calendar booking which means you can just send a single online booking link to anyone who wants to book and they'll book and then from there they'll be reminded about their appointment you'll save so much time money and energy not having to have your team go back and forth with every lead over text or the phone they can just find the time that works for them and you're good to go another example would be the workflow builder a lot of nerds want to nerd out on the 87 triggers and the 150 actions inside of the workflow builder and say we can literally go in here and we can trigger based off of this facebook lead and then look we're going to send an sms it's going to be so cool and the business owner literally their eyes glaze over when you start talking about this stuff if instead you say what if every single lead you generated whether from your website social media or elsewhere what if those people got a text immediately after opting in so that when they're most likely to respond we've already reached out to them within seconds would that help you the business owner starts asking well could you automate my invoices or could you automate my calendar bookings and then you go into those other benefits of the features but as much as possible try to avoid the feature speak and instead talk more about the benefits and this brings me to number seven which is snapshots this is a topic that i could probably make a video on but i don't want to because it's really quite simple you should not buy any snapshots unless you already know how the software works if you buy a snapshot i promise you there will be this low level of anxiety that you will feel every single day when you log into your high level account and you don't know what the hell is going on because you didn't build it even if it's working exactly as you intended i promise you it's just a matter of time before it does something that you didn't want it to do and yes if a snapshot comes with a very very comprehensive hey this is how this whole thing works it might be worth it but i would still recommend taking that video and this is what i tell my students to do take that video and build the snapshot that they give you step by step so that you understand what's going on and no you don't have to put in every single piece of text and all the custom fields etc in the one that you build but you should understand what texts are getting sent at what time what emails what other automations are firing etc and you should know how to build those from scratch so i guess what i'm saying here is don't think that snapshots are going to be the end all be all for you because they won't be the most sure way forward is for you to learn the stuff on your own the snapshots will help but that's no substitute for actually sitting down and learning the new language so to speak that we talked about before and that brings me to number eight which is a great way to start is just to set up your own business whatever that is an agency a real estate brokerage a franchise location whatever your business is that you're signing up for high level to use go ahead and set it up yourself and again follow that model of minimum viable product wait a week then do it again wait a week build a little bit more wait another week build a little bit more and just keep going until you've built something that you're super happy with and then you can duplicate that and sell it to other people and there you have it guys my eight top tips for high level 
And that's it. I promise you, if you follow these rules, you're going to be leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. Can't wait to see your success. If you'd like to sign up to be an affiliate of mine, I give a lot of bonuses. We have monthly coaching calls. If you're already a high level user, you can upgrade to get these bonuses or even sign up for any of the three white label support options I mentioned in this video and support for my team every single day. We'd love to see you in there. Link is below. Take care.